Monster Mama Story by Liz Rosenberg Illustrations by Stephen Gamble Patrick Edward was a wonderful boy, but his mother was a monster. She lived in a big cave at the back of the house. Sometimes she painted, sometimes she gardened, and sometimes she tossed Patrick Edward lightly up and down in the air for fun. He called her Monster Mama. Her moods terrified the neighborhood. Still, she had the sweetest touch in the world when Patrick Edward ran a fever. She taught him how to roar, how to jump and climb, how to cast a spell that could put almost anyone to sleep. Patrick Edward was fearless like her. She told him, always use your powers for good, never for evil. On rainy days when she drove him to school, she hid herself in a big cloak and hood. When he invited friends over, she baked cookies for them and watched secretly from the cave. She never introduced herself to Patrick Edwards teachers or his piano instructor. They don't need to meet me, she said. So Patrick Edward passed out the cookies himself and learned how to make friends on his own. One day, Patrick Edward's mother told him to pick out something lovely for dessert. Something with strawberries, she called after him. He decided to try the new market across town. He picked out some lovely strawberry tarts. But in the parking lot, three big boys circled him. Yum, said the first boy, grabbing the grocery bag. Another boy waved a baseball bat. Patrick Edward was unafraid. Creeps, he sang out, snatching back the bag. The boys ran after him. They chased him down the street and into an empty lot. Villains, farewell, howled Patrick Edward. He jumped over a creek, flew through the woods, and bounded up the side of a small mountain. But the three boys caught up. We'll show him who's boss, they said. So Patrick Edward chanted the spell that would make them fall asleep. But though he said the words in the right order and looked them straight in the eye, those boys couldn't be charmed. They gobbled up Patrick Edward's lovely dessert and tied him to a tree with a piece of twine. They threw his cap off the mountain and tossed the paper bag after it. Lizards, Patrick Edward said scornfully. Death to tyrants. Ah, your mother wears army boots, snarled the biggest boy. What? said Patrick Edward. You heard me, said the boy. The other two smirked. You leave my mother out of this, Patrick Edward roared. So loudly, the whole mountain rang. He broke the baseball bat like a loaf of stale bread and tossed the pieces over his shoulder. Then he chased the boys back down the mountain and through the woods. His eyes glowed and his laughter was truly monstrous. Who knows what might have happened next, but Monster Mama heard the echoes of his roar. She zoomed out of her cave like a fast-moving freight train and sailed over the creek in one graceful leap. Who is that? shrieked the boys. Let's skip introductions, Patrick Edward's mother howled. Pick up that bag. The three boys scampered after it. Don't forget that hat, she snapped. They found it hanging from a bramble bush. And who broke that bat? Her eyes had little red flames in them. Patrick Edward blushed. And I still want something lovely for dessert, she thundered, and she marched all the boys back home. 
where they feverishly sifted and stirred and baked a strawberry tea cake with French whipped cream on top. At the supper table, Patrick Edward said, Strength is for the wise, not the reckless. More cakes, please, he added. The three boys had second helpings. Monster Mama carried out the dishes. Patrick Edward stacked them. No matter where you go or what you do, she told him, I will be there because I am your mother, even if I am a monster and I love you. As soon as it grew dark, Patrick Edward walked the boys to the gate. Your mother is something else, they told him admiringly. It runs in the family, answered Patrick Edward. The end.